In South Africa, the struggle of workers is, one would say, vibrant and has a brave history. Uh, in particular, you know, across the length and breadth of this country, the history cuts deep uh, in this country. Let's find out more about uh, such struggles. Uh, let's head back now to uh, KwaZulu-Natal, where Ayan Amplongo is there, reporting on what's considered the main uh, event, the main Kasatu event for Workers' Day. And uh, Ayan, are you with the Minister of Labour? Yeah, thanks very much, Blaine, and uh, good morning once again to our viewers. Yes, I'm now joined by the Minister of Labour, uh, Mam Mildred uh, Oliphant. Certainly a lot to talk about on this very, very important day. Before I speak to the Minister, let me just quickly give you an update. Uh, the uh, stadium is now uh, filling up, workers continuously coming through uh, in their numbers. It's not, of course, just workers, as I said earlier on. Members of the public, people who are unemployed also have come out here today on this very, very important day where workers of uh, South Africa the world get to reflect on the advancements that have been made by the workforce but also looking at the challenges facing workers not only here but globally and moving forward how as workers working together with the government here in South Africa and in their respective countries how they're going to address the challenges that are affecting workers and speaking up with the government let me now bring in the Minister Ma Mildred Oliphant thank you Ma for your time this morning an important day uh, for workers in South Africa. 25 years, we were speaking to Kwasatu uh, earlier on, saying yes, challenges still remain, but certainly there's been great uh, strides that uh, have been made. Your feeling, uh, first of all, very briefly on this day? Uh, I must say the workers of South Africa in particular, they must celebrate the achievements that they've got from the government, uh, particularly when it comes to the legislation in this country. We have the Labor Relations Act that uh, allows the workers to bargain uh, between themselves and the employers when it comes to the issues that relate to living wage. And at the same time, they have the freedom of association in the workplace. And uh, also we have the basic conditions of employment under which the workers must be employed. And uh, we have made sure that the issue of occupational health and safety as well is part of the achievements of the workers. Yes, there are still challenges because what has happened, we had three different legislation when it comes to occupational health and safety. One was administered by the Department of Health and the other one by Department for Mineral Resources and the other one by the Department of Labor. But what we have done we have just amended that legislation and it's before parliament now because we have to align all the three pieces of legislation. But at the same time, we have the employment equity that deals about the equality of the workers in the workplace because what should happen is that when you are doing the same job of the equal value, you must be paid equally and therefore that is the big achievement because in South Africa previously, if you were of a certain uh, color in particular, you were paid higher than the other color. So those are the achievements that we have done. But if you recall last year, we just finalized the national minimum wage of which the workers of this country are really going to enjoy the benefits of the national minimum wage. For example, when you look at the hospitality sector, they were just paid according to tips, but now they do have a basic salary now because we're saying each and every person who is classified as a worker must be paid according to the national minimum wage legislation. And therefore, the people that are going to benefit from that, they are around 8 million in South Africa. And therefore, I want to appeal to those people that this government has made everything possible for the workers to be empowered and therefore they must give an opportunity to government to continue to do that by voting for the African National Congress. And at the same time we have the Unemployment Insurance Act that was not allowed in terms of maternity benefits to benefit the domestic workers. But after we have amended that legislation, domestic workers now do qualify. And at the same time we are amending COIDA because we feel that the domestic workers also are workers and sometimes they, are, they get injured at work by either using the slippery floors but 
I, I just want to quickly ask one question before I, I, I let you go. We're running out of time. And that is speaking about the minimum wage. There's concerns around uh, compliance that there are companies, and this has been raised by Kosatu, they're concerned about the fact that there are companies now that are not complying with this national. What is government are you going to do? We're running out of time very briefly. We have the institution that is uh, CCMA. If the workers are not paid according to the legislation, they must go and put their complaints to the CCMA and we will make sure that those uh, companies do comply with the legislation. Thank you so much for your time. The Minister there of uh, Labour, uh, Mildred Oliphant, of course, just going through uh, what the government of South Africa has done for workers in this country. The day is, of course, about workers, so hopefully as they make their way through, we'll be able to interact and just speak to the ordinary worker that has come out here today and what, uh, uh, what has been good uh, in the past few years for them, but what remains as challenges for the workers on the ground. I'm going to leave it here now, Blaine, and back to you. Thank you very much indeed. I am Longer life for us in court.